Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to use Widgetsmith on iOS 15. So first of all, I want you to download Widgetsmith from the App Store. If you haven't already, open up the App Store, search up Widgetsmith, and download it. Next, let's open it up and we can create a widget. So you can edit the current widgets which are available. So small one, medium one, or large one. If you want to have multiple widgets, you can just tap on add and then that will add a new widget. So let's just tap on add real quick and I'll just tap on add small widget. And it's already brought me to this page right here. If you go back, you can add a timed widget. So what this will do is it will uh, go through each widget you have. So if I just tap on, we'll just tap on save. Yeah, let's say you want to have small widget number one, run from nine to five. And then small widget number two, run from six to whatever. And then you can do that with the timed widget. You just tap on add timed widget and then you can just choose the times right here. So uh, really up to you if you want to do that. I'm not going to cover that. Instead, I'm going to show you how to create a widget. So just tap on default widget and you have a bunch of options. So you can choose a photo and you can also scroll down. You do have the time options right here. You also have uh, the date. You have the weather. The weather costs money, but you have step counting. You have all this stuff, health, and you can choose whatever you want. So let's just choose something that is free. So I'm going to choose the clock. Just tap on clock. And then you have all these options available. So aesthetic slash theme, we tap on it. You can change the themes. So there are some paid ones, some free ones. We just choose the uh, free ones. And then location, you can choose that as well. Clock style, hand type, all that good stuff. You can set these right here. So I'm just going to go back. I'm going to tap on save. And you can now see my widget has been saved. So in order to add this widget on the home screen, you just want to find the empty space, long press, then tap on plus, And then you want to find widget smith. So we'll just search up widget smith. Tap on it, and you can see, small, just tap on add widget, and boom, your widget should be on the home screen. However, you can see, uh, I created the clock widget, it's shown up here successfully, but what if it doesn't show up? All we need to do, long press on the widget, and then tap on edit widget. And then here, you can see widget you can choose between the widgets you created, either small number one or small number two. Let's tap on small, uh, small number one, and you can see the widget's going to be black. Let's just tap on this. And you can see will open us into the widget smith application so let's fill out uh, widget number one let's just tap on it default widget tap on the photo and let's select a photo so we'll just go here and down here choose photo and let's select this photo right here so this photo will be in the widget let's go back save and now you should be able to see boom just like that we now have a photo widget on the home screen again if you just want to switch between the two just long press Edit, edit widget and you can switch between the two and moving us like that you can change the widget you can also add as many widgets as you want so if we just long press on the empty space again plus we just search up a widget smith search it up boom like that we tap on this and you can add another one and you can of course customize each one and then you'll be good to go so i'm just going to have my photo widget right here let's just tap on this small and then I have my regular widget right there. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.